Welcome to another video and today we're talking about wax. But Marian, how many types of candle is there? That's a really good question because actually candles are not equal. You can't use the same wax to make both a scented candle in a vessel and a decorative candle that is going to be freestanding whether you choose to burn it or not. Right, so you make candle or you're starting making candle. What's the best wax for you to start? Well, it depends. It depends what type of candle you want to make. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Marion and I'm the creator of Wicked Candle Company. And throughout YouTube, I'm trying to guide you through making candles and selling your candles online. And now let's talk about waxes. Is actually something that I'm being asked in the comment section on all my video every week, sometime every day. It's about the wax type that you need to use when doing certain candles. Container candle and pillar candle. Container candle are going to be your scented candle held in a vessel. Your pillar candle are going to be freestanding without a container. They have they usually are made with molds, whether a silicon or um, a polymer of plastic. So I thought let's just unpack it because wax is actually the key thing you're going to need to make your candles and depending whether you make scented candles or sculptural candles you're not going to need the same wax and i'm going to stress the fact that not all wax will work the wax that work for scented candles are not going to work at all for your sculptural candles so it's really important to understand the difference between the two and pick the right wax that is good for you and for the candle that you make or you want to make. So let's just unpack this right now and get started. Let's dive into the wax type. Here we go. So you're making scented candles. Scented candles as a definition are what we're going to call container candle. They are the wax and the fragrance oil, as well as your wick, is going to be held within a vessel. The purpose of that candle is to burn and melt the wax, so the flame, while burning the wax, can release the fragrance and perfume your whole room. This is the purpose of a container candle and a scented candle. You want your room to smell amazing. To make your scented candle is going to be a container wax. As I mentioned, scented candle are held in a vessel, therefore the container wax is going to be soft and creamy and is going to burn easier, it's going to melt faster. This is what you want. A container wax is not going to be good if you want to do wax melts, for example, or sculptural candle. So a container wax is not going to be what you need to use to make sculptural candle um, with molds which is the other part of my business. I make sculptural candle. This is probably why most of you follow me for the advice that I give around um, molded candles. And the first one, the first one that you need to hear is that you need to use a pillar wax. What is a pillar wax? So they need to have two key properties. One, they need to slightly shrink when they um, dry or cure. You will notice if you make candle yourself that in certain molds, as soon as you start, uh, the, the, the wax starts to dry or solidify, it kind of shrink, um, making it easier to release from certain molds, especially um, not necessarily silicon molds, but in more um, in plastic molds. You'll see that there's that shrinkage that happen uh, when the candles start to uh, solidify. So this is a property of pillar wax. You want your wax to shrink slightly while when you after you pour it, so it's easier to release. When you use the correct wax and a good quality wax that is made for pillar candle, you will not need release spray. The second property that you want your wax to have is that you want your wax to be hard. And when I say hard, I mean harder than a container wax. Like I said, container wax needs to be creamy and soft. A pillar wax needs to solidify 
and harden so it makes the release of the mold easier plus your candle is going to be freestanding it's going to also also be less sensitive to warmth or direct sunlight even though if you put like a candle in direct sunlight it's going to melt babe it's going to melt in a hot day don't do it there is hundreds of wax on the market you can have soy wax paraffin wax coconut wax there's even like olive oil wax now and some kind of vegetable blends this is fine you can pick whatever fits your ethos as a brand or whatever you feel it's easier to work with beyond the wax that you choose to use as in let's say i use soy wax so i'm just going to take that example within soy wax you cannot, there's not such thing as saying, oh, I use soy wax. You're going to need to use a certain type of soy wax to make certain type of candles. When you guys ask me in the comment question like this or this, the main thing that I need to know to help out is, yes, okay, you're using soy wax or you're using paraffin, but what type of wax? Because the main problem that you're facing most of the time is that your wax is too soft. And my guess is that you're using a wax that is not fit for purpose for molded candles. So my best advice for you guys, if you want to do awesome uh, decorative candles with molds, is to pick the right wax. And you need to pick a pillar wax. I want to thank you again all for watching my previous videos and for the support. I really enjoy all your likes and all your comment and all your follow. I can't even explain how grateful I am for this. I only started that journey on YouTube um, four months ago. So this is very overwhelming and I'm so, so glad that I'm sharing all with you. So please, 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 if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you want to see more of it, give it a follow. Thank you so much. <laughs>